Hey guys, Ben here from Courage Woodworks, and today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome pen. Let's get going. Okay, so now let's talk about what we need. So over here we have a mandrel and a mandrel saver. So the mandrel is what holds the pen and this is how you turn it. And you need this because this slides over that and holds onto the wood. So on normal cheaper mandrels, um, there's a hole in here and you can just use a live center. But what happens is it can bend the mandrel and you don't want that so this keeps it, that from happening. So these five uh, bushings come with the mandrel and these are CA non-stick bushings uh, they're made of plastic these are for applying the CA finish now all the stuff right here comes in a set except for the mandrel or except for the plastic bushings so then you need a drill bit that fits the pin set and what this does is it um, clears out any glue inside of the pin once you drill the hole and put the brass in. And then it also clears out any extra wood. Then you also need some micro mesh. And this ranges from 1500 to 12,000 grit. I also use a stick fast CA thin finish. Um, you can use a, an accelerator, but what I found happens is it turns the glue white so then it messes it all up. Also you need a blank. I'm using Bubinga. You can make these yourself or buy them. I buy them. That way I can get more exotic wood that I don't have in my shop. Also you need a square or something to find the center of the blank. And lastly we have this uh, pin set. Now these come in packs of tens from Penn State and they're 250 each so if you can get 10 for 25 so I find that's a great deal and it's, they're really cheap so also I use this vise with some plastic uh, components in there that make sure the blank is held up straight for drilling that way it's perpendicular so let's get going My bandsaw blade is super crappy, so it's just drifting a lot. That's why I got these super crappy cuts. But um, I just ordered a new bandsaw blade, so pretty soon I'll actually get some decent cuts. So let's continue with the video. Now you want to put on the mandrel and the mandrel saver and for the bushings the, you want to do a pattern of 2-1-2 two, two, just because that's what I found is the best thing to do. And I, you can really use almost any tool for turning these. I just found that carbide works the best. I used to use a skew chisel and it, I just wasn't that good at using skew chisels. And then I started using scrapers and then I, had, I made these carbide tools and I just found that they are the easiest to use. Now when you're turning, you want to turn to the highest speed your lathe can go. And for me, that's 3600 RPM. Either 3600 or 3900. So um, you just want to do the highest because it, it creates less tear out and it's just easier to turn. So yeah.
go. Here is the pin. It turned out super, super awesome. Um, what I started doing is I started sanding it with normal sandpaper after the super glue. That way it would go down to the line. Because before what I did is I didn't do that. And then none of these would be perfectly flat. So that is perfectly level. There's no bump or anything. So this turned out really great, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like the video, um, comment down below. Also, help my channel out by hitting subscribe and never miss a video by hitting the no notification bell. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.